Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Rich the Lion. I live in Columbus, Ohio. I train at the Helsing Gracie Academy here in Columbus under Robin Giesler. Um, I've currently been doing this about two years now. I have my blue belt, and um, uh, I, I guess to, to start with, uh, your question is what motivated me um, to, to basically get into this? And I can tell you, you know, I had a lot of motivation um, for, for this to happen. Uh, when I was 22, I was diagnosed with dilated car cardiomyopathy, which is an enlargement of the heart. My heart is currently three times the size of a normal heart, and the, the heart function that I have is just terrible. It's like uh, 13%, I, I think, right now. Um, just not very good whatsoever. Um, you know, and when I was 22, uh, and, and I found out about this, uh, they they basically told me that I wasn't going to make it. They told my mom to prepare for me to die. Um, now, this was 13 years ago, and I'm still here kicking. So, you know, I, I must have done something right along the way in order to still be here today. I'm still trying to figure out what that is, but, uh, you know, nonetheless, I'm, I'm very lucky to be where I'm at right now. Very lucky to be training jiu-jitsu and been given the opportunity to do this. So I thank you for that. Um but the motivation here was that, uh, you know, my, my heart was just terrible. Um, I spent the last almost 10, 11 years of my life just sitting around on a couch doing, uh, you know, a little bit of work here, a little bit of work there. Um, but pretty much just sitting around on a couch. And, uh, you know, the doctors basically were like, ah, you can walk on a treadmill. Um, you know, you can walk. You can do things like that. Well, you know what? That just doesn't sound fun to me. I, I can't get into that. That's not what I enjoy doing. Um, and, and, you know, finally, after waiting, you know, 11 years to be presented with jujitsu, um, you know, I was able to get into something that I actually liked. And physically, um, I'm not able to do it on anybody else's level. Uh, that's probably watching this. You know, my heart is three times the size of a normal heart. At almost every doctor I've met, any heart specialist, anybody, they've always said that they, I, I have the biggest heart um, out of anybody they've seen, and, and that says a lot because I've seen some some uh, uh, some doctors. Um, so the motivation on getting into this was just that I I wanted to do something with my life. I was sick of sitting around. I wanted to get up and do something. And this just seemed like a lot of fun to me. I had a friend that was involved in it. Um, he kind of brought me on board. Um, I'm not allowed to, um, I, I guess not, I, I can't say I'm not allowed, but I'm not really able to do standard classes and things like that uh, just for the simple reason that, you know, listen, my heart gets going. I need to be able to train with people that are very controlled. Um, I can't do warm-ups and things like that, um, you know, so in, instead I do a lot of privates. I mean, pretty much all privates is what I do, um, and I've been doing that for almost two years now. Um, but, uh, you know, I, again, the motivation, just just wanting to live, just wanting to do something with my life. I mean, that's what motivated me to get into this, and, you uh, you know, it's it's been a fun journey so far. Um, as far as how it's changed me, it, it's it's given me motivation to keep living. Uh, you know, I, I want to keep living and doing jujitsu. Um, that's what I want to do. Um, I'm talking to you guys right now, and all I can think about is, man, I'd love to be on the mat doing some jujitsu. So, you know, I mean, I never would have thought like that years ago. That I would have been like, man, let me sit on the couch here and, uh, you know, take a nap. You know, that sounds like fun to me. Um, that no longer sounds like fun to me. I'd rather be out there rolling around, um, you, you know, just 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 doing things, doing jujitsu. And, um, you know, it, it, it's changed me from the aspect of, you know, I, I basically, you became the type of person that, um, you know, when I get knocked down, I want to get back up now. You know, I didn't used to be that person before. When I got knocked down, 
I didn't want to get back up. You know, I wanted to stay down. Um, and, and I'm not like that anymore. Um, and, and this is it, this is basically improved all the aspects of, of my life as far as I'm concerned. I wanted to continue to grow, to do better. I want to be a better dad. I want to be a better business owner. I want to I want to do better with everything that I get into. Um, you know, it, as much as I can. Now I still have so much physical limitations uh, that uh, you know it really sucks. I'm very jealous of people out there that can can do this, um, you know, have good hearts and, and can do this, um, you know, basically all day. Extremely jealous. Um, but you know what? I, I'm just lucky to be involved with this right now. So um, I, I feel very blessed for that. So that's pretty much how this has changed me. I've turned into a person that wants to, wants to train, wants to know self-defense, um, wants to protect my family, wants to be the type of person that when he gets knocked down, he gets right back up. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's saying a lot, um, because I used to be too lazy to get back up. So, you know, I, I have you guys really to thank for that. Um, as far as what I would say to people that aren't athletic or maybe overweight or something like that, um, you know, that maybe are afraid to get into jujitsu or, or whatever, you know, don't be, get up, just get to your closest school and get involved. Um, you know, once you do, you know, and, and you stick with it for a while, you're going to be amazed on how much you enjoy this. Uh, I mean, it's a great brotherhood of people. Um, it's, it, it's just a fun fun way of self-defense to learn, martial arts to learn, and, um, you know, I'm completely obsessed with it, um, I think about it constantly, and, um, you know, even when I'm not doing it, I'm probably thinking about it, or maybe watching a video about it, or I'm talking about it, so, um, you know, if, if I can do it with the heart condition that I have, any anybody can do it. If you're overweight, it doesn't matter. You still have a good heart. You can still get up and get out, and you can do this. Um, you know, if you're not athletic, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be athletic. I know plenty of people at my school that aren't athletic. You know, and, and they will pretty much submit at will people that come in thinking that because they're athletic, they can do this. So, you know, if you're that person out there that's not athletic, believe me, get in there, train, 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 and, you know, that's no longer going to be a problem for you. Um, you know, as far as the roadblocks, I've had so many roadblocks over the years, um, but as of recently, since I started training, um, I, I'd say my roadblocks have, have been, uh, you know, one time. Uh, back probably two months after I started training jujitsu, um, I basically had an episode of a VTEC, which is the lower chamber of my heart is beating way too fast. Um, and it, it felt like an earthquake. thought I was basically having some sort of heart attack. I fell to the ground. Everything went black. I thought I was dead. Um, you know, and once I realized, you know, after I got back up, you know, I, I thought of two things, and, um, you know, the two things were my family, you know, I have to make sure I stick around so I can take care of them, but also, it was, how can I do things better, how can I stay more active, so I can train more jujitsu to, to basically improve my, my, my cardio and, and my health, you know, at that point, since I'd only been training for two months, I'm thinking, I need to train more now, I got to train more jujitsu because if I don't train more, my heart is just going to, just going to give out. Um, you know, a crazy way to think, but, uh, that's what I thought about family and jujitsu. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much what I think about now. Um, but, uh, you know, so, so my roadblocks have been pretty heavy and, uh, you know, I just had another, another episode where I had, uh, what was called adult stem cells injected into my heart. Um, it's supposed to improve, hopefully improve the quality of my heart or the heart function. Um, 
you know, and I just had that this done October 30th. Uh, you know, they basically said I can't train until probably the beginning of January to middle of January. Um, I'm not very happy about that, but if these stem cells can just make me even that much better at jujitsu, I'm all about it. If it can get, can give me just a little bit more cardio, I'm all about it. Um, you know, obviously technique and everything is going to fall on me, but energy wise, you know, I, I need some energy when I, when I'm out there. Um, I, I really might be able, able to only roll for a couple minutes and then I get tired and, you know, then I need to take a break. So I'm in hope, I'm very much hoping that these stem cells will, will improve that, will, will give me just a little bit longer to last. But when I was on the table and I was having these stem cells injected into my heart, um, you know, I actually went into VTEC on the table as well. And once I went into VTEC on the table, they had to shock me to get my rhythm back. And let me tell you, getting shocked by either my pacemaker or paddles or whatever is not fun. And if I can get back up from that and still want to get out there and train and still risk, you know, risk that, you know, anybody can do this. I mean, anybody can do this. As long as your heart works, you can do this. Um, you know, so... Uh, that that's probably my, my biggest roadblocks that I've had in the past couple of years. Seems to be every year I have some sort of problem, um, but uh, you know the 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 stem cells. I guess uh, I'm really hoping for uh, that to that to help me out so I can continue to train harder. I would love to train harder, um, but uh, as far as what my final goals are doing this, I guess I really don't have a final goal. I don't want to say that there's a belt level that I want to get to and I want to stop at uh, because that's really not the case. I just want to continue to do jujitsu. So however long I do it for, I mean, I just want to do it until, you know, it's time to go. I mean, that's that's it. That's my that's my end game is do jujitsu until it's time for me to go. And then that's it. Uh, but, you know, I can tell you this has been an extremely fun journey so far. It's a journey that I'm never going to stop doing uh, just because I truly believe that it's so beneficial for me personally, in my opinion, that, um, you know, it's it's changed me as a person. Um, it's turned me into the person that gets knocked down and wants to get back up. Where again, before, I did not want to get back up. I was too tired to get back up. Well, now, even when I'm tired, I want to get back up. I, you know, I, I just want to do better. So, I you know, I really have you guys to thank for that. Um, you know, whether or not the, the contest, I win, whatever, it doesn't really matter. You know, at least this is me giving, you know, I'm given the opportunity right now to say thank you for bringing this to us, uh, giving us all the opportunity to uh, to, to basically learn jujitsu because without you and your family, I mean, it, it's not going to be as, as spread out as it is now. And, and I would never know. And I'd still be sitting on the couch right now watching TV. And, and who knows? I could be dead. That first, you know, VTEC that I had where I fell to the ground, that might have been a wrap if uh, I wasn't doing jujitsu. So, you know, again, thank you, you know, for everything you guys do. Um, I, I think jujitsu is just on a whole nother level of just self defense and, uh, you know, martial arts wise. It's, uh, it's, it's incredible. I mean, there's just, there's just so much, uh, as far as the, the brotherhood of it, uh, you know, and, and you can never, you can never learn enough. You can never master this. And, and I like that idea that I can't master this. Uh, you know, all I can continue to do is, is just keep trying, just get a little better, keep, just keep getting a little better. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, again, thank you. I appreciate your time and uh, take care. Thanks.